Hi, today I'm at the PCI SIG DEF CON 2017, demonstrating the PCIe Gen 4 interoperability with the Melanox featuring lane margining. And let me introduce you to the hardware that is used for the Gen 4 interoperability test with lane margining. Over here we have the PCIe Gen 4 IP IPK, as well as the Gen 4 controller and Phi on the PCIe IPK. The, this is connected through a backplane and connected to a Mellanox network adapter acting as the EP. The link is already powered up and it's operating at Gen 4, which is this display right here. And the LTSSM state is in the L0 state, which is the normal operating state, the active state. In this setup, we have the Phi running in the, in the EP using the Mellanox and we will do the lane margining on this. Okay, let's talk about the RX lane margining at the receiver as defined by the PCIe Gen 4 specs. The lane margining assesses the lane quality for more robust design. It is mandatory for all Gen 4 files. To obtain margining information at the receiver, the controller must be in L0 active state at Gen 4. Both the time, which is the eye width, and voltage, the eye height margins are available. In this demonstration, it shows what RX lane margining is doing. As you can see, it's stepping to the right to detect where the errors are occurring, and it's looking for the margins at the left and right. These are the eye width margins. The next step is the eye height margins, which is the voltage margins. The receiver margining will go step up and down at a time to detect errors, and when errors are detected, that you can detect the margins and figure out what is your eye width and eye height. Um, a minimum and a maximum should be achieved to give you the maximum and optimized margin. Uh, before I start the demo for the RX lane margining, let's take a look at the configuration of this application. So we are running the lane margining for the EP first. Okay. Right now the script is setting up the voltage steps as well as the sampling counts and the max number of errors to the limits. As you can see, we are running the lane margining for the time first and it has detected errors on the second step. And when it did the left side, it detected errors, five errors at the third step. And the error limit we set was for for the voltage margin it is currently running and it has going through it's going through step zero up to the steps where it detects four or more errors or five or more errors okay at the 16th step it detected five errors and it failed and it errored out now we're doing the voltage margining down. So the voltage mar margining for the down step aired out at step number nine. Five errors were detected. The error limit can be modified and programmed um, at the setup. In this case, you can see the margining is not symmetrical, where you have more margin towards the up versus the down yeah. and for the more time margin you there's also a little bit off where you have more margin to the left compared to the right with this margining information you can fine-tune your equalization and optimize the PMA to achieve your margin that you desire lane margining information what you can do is take the information and update and fine-tune your PMA, your PCS, as well as your channel link to see how you can optimize the link with the information and repeat the step until you optimize your equalization as well as the lane margining so that is the most optimal value. This was our demonstration for PCIe 4.0 interoperability with Mellanox featuring lane margining. Thanks for watching.